Hey everybody, this is Joshua Tucker, the tendonitis expert. And in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about arthritis medication. Now, I'm not a doctor. I can't tell you whether you should take it or should not take it. And I certainly can't tell you to take it or not take it. But I can give you some information that will help you make decisions for yourself. So let's start with some points here. And first off, osteoarthritis is a function of the tendonitis dynamic, meaning things get tight, they stay tight, joints get compressed, and over time those compressed joints grind on each other until they get unhappy. And even after that, unhappy and damaged. Rheumatoid arthritis is a function of leaky gut. The gut lining is inflamed and damaged, little proteins leak through, it causes an autoimmune response, and it's, long story short, the body goes after you. And that's rheumatoid arthritis. Now, is osteoarthritis fixable? Yes, it is. There's a certain point where joints are so damaged and or deformed that you can't come back for that, come back from that. But until then, you get to that point. Yes, osteoarthritis is reversible and fixable. Is, osteo is osteoarthritis fixable with arthritis medication? No, no, it is not. And I'll explain that in a moment. So is rheumatoid arthritis fixable? Yes. Again, there's a certain point where if your joints are so damaged or deformed, you just can't come back from that. There's no fixing that. But anything up to that point, yes, rheumatoid arthritis is reversible and fixable. Is it reversible and fixable with arthritis medication? Oops. No. No, it is not. And the reason for that, in short, is because arthritis medication does not fix arthritis. It doesn't fix any kind of arthritis. It can't. It has no possible chance of fixing arthritis. And there's many, many reasons for that, which is explained on the webpage that, on this topic, on my website. But arthritis medication can't fix anything. At best, it can ameliorate symptoms, push them down so you have less complaints from day to day. But the important thing to know there is that while arthritis medication might be keep, keeping symptoms down a little bit, the problem itself is getting bigger and bigger and bigger over time. So that's what you need to know about your kind of arthritis and arthritis medication. Let's move to why are you taking arthritis medication? Probably it's because you have pain and other symptoms. You finally went to the doctor and eventually your doctor prescribed you arthritis medication. Your, arth your doctor may or may not have told you that your arthritis is incurable, but they certainly did give you a prescription or will give you a prescription for arthritis medication because that's really the only tool in their toolbox. So they're going to give you arthritis medication. They're hoping that the symptoms will be suppressed and you won't have enough complaints and you won't come back except for more prescriptions because you're going to need the prescriptions because again, arthritis medication doesn't fix anything and the problem itself gets bigger over time. So for osteoarthritis, Again, it's a function of the tendonitis dynamic, which in short is a function of tightness, inflammation, and nutritional insufficiency. Sorry, I keep hitting that button. Nutritional insufficiency. All these factors work together to cause pain and problem, to cause the tendonitis dynamic, which causes the arthritis symptoms. Arthritis medication at best reduces the inflammation. It reduces your ability to feel pain, essentially. So the problem with that is that the tightness gets tighter and tighter. The muscles that are compressing your joint that way, pulling on the tendon that way, compressing the joint or the finger joint or the elbow joint, whatever the joint is, neck, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, etc. The tightness continues to get worse. So the joint gets compressed more and more. And the nutritional insufficiency is totally ignored. In fact, you get even, or let me rephrase that, arthritis medication generally eats up various nutrition, which you need for your body to work properly. So not only does the arthritis medication ignore tightness and ignore the nutritional, nutritional insufficiency, but it helps things get more tight and it ends you with, ends you up with even less nutrition available for your body to do what it's supposed to do, which is get you out of pain and problem. For rheumatoid arthritis, 
this is going to be a horrible little picture here, but let's just pretend this is your digestive tract. And somewhere in your digestive tract, you have tiny, 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 tiny little holes, little baby holes. And through those little baby holes, you have little food particles, proteins, etc., leaking out into your system. The immune system does not like that. It starts to attack. It wants to attack those. Unfortunately, you already have inflammation in the lining of your digestive tract. That's already inflamed. This is inflammation, we're going to say. And so when your body attacks this, it also attacks your gut even more. So your gut gets even less healthy and less healthy and less healthy, which allows more and more protein stream. That's part of how autoimmune system, sorry, autoimmune quote unquote disease gets worse. Rheumatoid arthritis medication is again, is going to decrease your ability to feel the symptoms, but all the while this is happening more and more. That is getting worse and worse. That's why rheumatoid arthritis medications don't work as well over time because of essentially things are getting worse. And if I keep saying that, I'm just going to be repeating myself. Point being, arthritis medication tends to allow your body to get worse and worse and worse, even if it's working such that you feel symptoms less or not at all. So that's the important thing to know. So if you'd like to find out more information about arthritis medications, including a huge list of all the arthritis drugs and more commentary on them and how they work, visit my website and there's a link below this video. And like I said, it's, this is just information that you need to know to help you make better decisions. If you're in your doctor's office and he says there's no cure, maybe you'd want to investigate that a little more because maybe there is a cure for the body not functioning very well. Oftentimes it's just a case of making your body function better and the pain and symptoms will go away. The thing you need to really need to know about arthritis medication is that they don't fix anything. And while they're not fixing anything, the problem's getting worse. So with that, I look forward to seeing you on my website.